To get started with Flame, create a brand new Flutter project. Change into the new directory that was created from Flutter and then add Flame package with Flutter pub add Flame. After you add the Flame package to your new Flutter project, then start up your editor. I'm using VS Code in this example. I have the Dart and Flutter extensions installed in VS Code already. To keep things simple, go into your main dot Dart in your lib folder, delete the most of the code. So we're just gonna leave the main function here at the top. Within the main method, you'll notice that there's always this run app method here, which is from Flutter. We're gonna delete the run app method temporarily and just do a print statement here within main, kind of like a hello world, just to show you that the code in main does run. We're gonna run the main method here, like a command line app almost. I'm, using, I'm building it from Flutter and I'm running it from Flutter. However, you're only gonna get this text message over here in the debug console. Much like a command line app, you can print whatever information you want here within the main method here, even though it's a Flutter app. Because we're not calling up a Flutter widget, you can put any type of code that you want in the main method and it will run. Then when you want to load the Flutter widget, you would use run app. So let's just test it. I'm pressing reload, uh, not hot restart. And you can see that the print statement is all working. So let's create our first Flutter class. Instead of a stateless widget that you normally work with in Flutter, we're gonna use a widget from the Flame library called Flame Game. So this Flame Game is from the Flame package. VS Code did an automatic import for me. It did automatically import uh, flame slash game dot dart. The widget that I'm gonna run in run app is from Flame, it's called game widget. This is a special keyword. The parameter that I'm passing it game is the name of the new class that I just created. So let's review everything you've accomplished. You've installed Flutter prior to this video. You've installed Flame with Flutter pub add Flame. You've installed VS Code and the VS Code extensions. In the right hand column, you've also finished step one, which is you loaded the game widget, which is from Flame, using run app, which is from Flutter. The other steps we'll need to do to build our game will be to load the game assets within Flame game. And then we're gonna use an update loop to move the assets like an image around the screen. If you have an error at this point, make sure that you've imported the flame game package. Above the main method, I have import package colon flame slash game dot dart. As I'm building for Android, I'm using the material widgets from Flutter. To load the assets, we're gonna to have to override the onload method, which is from flame. The onload method is a future, which means that the events that may take place may occur at some point in the future. For example, load an image from local storage. And we're gonna specify this as asynchronous so that we can wait for the image to load in the future. At the top of this method, we're gonna run the parent or the super uh, class, super.onload. And we'll just put a print statement here just to let us know that it is running this particular method, the onload method. If you're not familiar with async, await, and the annotations for overrides, I'll just treat this as boilerplate code and just type in exactly what you see here. And all we're trying to do is get a print statement here to let us know that this onload method is running. And then we can add some additional code in the future to actually load the images. I'm going to leave the print statements in here so that you can know the steps that the application is going through as it starts to load the required widgets and assets that you're gonna need for your game prior to actually the game start and being ready to play. Congratulations, you've installed Flame, you have it working, you're ready to add some exciting graphics into your game. 
Thanks for taking this first step in your learning journey in 2022. The next video is going to cover how to use sprite components and place the assets on the location on your screen at the size that you want to. Congratulations again on taking the journey to improve yourself by expanding your programming knowledge. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.